Right, this is my RF30, Rong Fu RF30. Uh, it's a number three Morse taper mill drill. Uh, it's a round column as well. As you can see, round column. It's got a reasonably good uh, bed assembly there, which goes forwards and backwards. I've got a big uh, six inch vise sitting on there. Now, the thing is that everything works, just that the problem is that the actual spindle here, which you can lock up, which locks there, and that, that'll operate everything there. That's not a problem. You loosen that off, and that will go up and down like so. Not a problem. But the thing is, uh, the knobs are broken off here. Uh, this always keeps coming loose. And I've been having a look, a lot of people going over to the wheel. So what I'm going to do is, uh, that's cast iron. I'm going to make one out of uh, Delrin. There'll be an insert in there. Then there'll be a, like a sports steering wheel put on there. And I'll be using the same uh, nut to tighten it up with. So anyway, we're going to go and make it. And I'll show you how we do it. <laughs> Right at the moment, I'm uh, just uh, I need to take this in to about 55 mil ID or thereabouts, and that'll be there to uh, centralise my wheel. What I'm doing at the moment, just using standard calipers because they, I think, because they're a lot bigger, I can get a, a more accurate uh, sizing on it at the moment because they can wrap around a lot further. Uh, that's uh, 56 mil, so I'll go another mil. The touch more, we should be right. And I don't know if we can actually see that, but uh, that's right on uh, 55 mil at the moment. Which, <laughs> yeah, the zero's here, by the way. Okay. Now what we'll do is, uh, we're just going to, well, we might make it a fraction deeper cut, I think, at the moment. <laughs> Recheck the measurement. Right, that's still spot on. Now, <laughs> oh dear, now we'll see if our little wheel fits on here because that's our locator. Oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? And then what I'll do is I'll take the OD down a fraction more and get this ready. Now, they probably look like about Six, six mil. I'll probably go to an eight or a ten mil screw. I'll just have to sort it out. We'll see how it goes. But what I might do is just bring it in a fraction deeper, so that's sitting flush because there's a a nut that screws on the outside here, and that that's the tension nut. Give it another try just to make sure it's okay. Yeah. Now 
it's actually sitting on the bottom here so which makes the fraction awkward I don't know if it's going to be any better that way nope nope so that's it that's the closest I'm going to get as far as that goes so that that feels like it's fairly flush there which, now that's not allowing it to pull in on the bottom properly so yeah no that's that that'll be good and then by the time I screw that so what I'm going to do is probably take about uh, I think it's about four mil something like that off the OD actually I was going to make that uh, OD there as round about uh, where are we I think about uh, 89 mil OD something like that so it's it's not a you don't have to do it anything spectacular it can be virtually anything so I'm still sort of making it up as I, to fit the unit about a mil on the first pass What I've done is I've just roughly made up a, uh, a section so I know how deep I'm going with it and uh, at the moment that'll be pretty well spot on for the for the actual well we want to call that the width of it we'll call that the diameter so that'll be the width so that'll leave me enough to give a taper on this side part it off and everything else Okay, at the moment we are at approximately, approximately 100 and 100.1 mil or 101 mils close enough for that so what I'll do is I'll I'll take that down uh, I won't bore you so I'll take it down to about uh, 90 mil or thereabouts and I'll check it from there so we need to take 12 mil off the OD on that Yep, and we <laughs> oh, look at that swarf, eh? Look at you can just make a two pay out of that. All right, we're sitting on uh, eighty nine. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Eighty nine, eighty nine point a fraction of probably point zero one or something stupid like that. But anyway, so that should be about our OD. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, from here to here, I've got a, uh, I think, it's, yeah it's about 26, 27 mil. I have to go from this point to here and then that'll be ready to be tapered down. But before I, I actually taper what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll be uh, coming in to there and, and then we have to uh, cut a shoulder in there which is uh, it's probably about from that point it's actually about six mil thick or there about sorry yeah about six mil and then from there that'll be going in a fraction more then it'll, it'll have the taper on it all right what I'm going what I'm doing here is I'm going to uh, come in 26 just under 27 mil from the end and then I'm going to uh, put a recess in here which will be the, where the start of the taper is so I've just uh, transferred over to my parting tool which is the best way to put a shoulder in here The actual taper, uh, when we get rid of that, the actual taper from there, uh, the the main diameter is going to be uh, 80 mil. So from there, I'm going to have to go down to make that 80 mil diameter OD, and then take that right across. And then what I'll be doing, uh, I'll be parting that off. Then I'll turn it around like and then re-centralize it back into the here because you have to redo it with a dial gauge because even though that's round, because it's a, a plastic base, it's always going to give you problems when you tighten it up. So you have to make sure that you've got everything centralized in there. I'll just follow that into the groove. Excuse the hands, sorry about that. Now, I, at the moment, I've got approximately uh, uh, 88, just under 89 mil. So I'll take 9 mil off the OD off that, and then we'll, we'll sort of see how we go from there. That's the only problem with this sort of uh, job, you know, you get all the material hanging everywhere. <laughs> like I said, you can make a pretty good toupee out of that in the, in the dark. <laughs> they would never know, would they? 